RS modular composite poles can be ordered pre-assembled or nested and can be pre-drilled and or undrilled if field drilling is preferred. When drilling an RS composite pole, use the following guidelines. To protect against inert nuisance dust, recommended personal protective equipment includes safety glasses and gloves, a particle mask, and a long sleeve shirt. Tools and equipment required for drilling includes a hand-operated drill, carbide-tipped hole saws, tape measure, permanent marker, chalk line, and a small screwdriver. The RS pole wall laminate is very abrasive and will dull high-speed steel drill bits and lesser quality hole saws quickly. RS recommends using the MK Morse carbide-tipped hole saw with a Lennox Arbor and pilot bit, along with a backhoe ejector spring with a cordless, hydraulic, electric, or gas-powered drill with a half-inch shank. Carbide-tipped hole saws have proven successful and are highly recommended for accurate, safe, and efficient drilling. Plus, they create only a fraction of the dust that a solid steel drill bit produces. They are also lightweight and easy to handle and store. Having the correct hole saw combination will reduce frustration for the worker and make the difference when it comes to the total quantity and quality of holes to be drilled. Complete hole saw kits and components are available from RS. Please see information at the end of this video clip for contact information. Before drilling, be sure to measure and mark carefully for vertical and horizontal accuracy. When measuring vertically, do so from the top of the pole, prior to the top cap being installed. The RS poles have factory marked axis lines at each 90 degree quadrant that can be used as a reference. If horizontal hole locations are offset from the 90 degree factory marked axis lines, create your own axis line by measuring from one of the factory marked lines and marking using a construction chalk line. Measuring and drilling from both sides of the pole creates pinpoint hole location accuracy. When field drilling, Reference the drill drawings provided for hole location, hole spacing, and hole size requirements. Hole sizes are typically 1 16th to 1 8th of an inch or 2 to 3 millimeters larger than the bolt size. For example, a 5 8 inch bolt requires an 11 16th inch hole saw, and a 3 quarter inch bolt requires a 13 16th inch hole saw size. Refer to the hole sizing charts in the hole spacing requirements document for imperial and metric measurements. When drilling, be mindful and understand hole spacing requirements and the no drill zone, or NDZ. Any two holes must be spaced six times the diameter apart from one another, measured hole center to hole center. For example, two 13 16 inch holes for 3 quarter inch bolts need to be spaced a minimum of 4 and 7 eighths inches apart from one another in any direction. The no drill zone or NDZ is an area of 5 inches or 127 millimeters above the base of the upper module and 3 inches or 76 millimeters below the base of the upper module of each slip joint. The no drill zone also includes the top 5 inches or 127 millimeters of the pole to accommodate for attaching top caps. Again, reference the RS hole spacing requirements document for further information. Prepare the drill by turning off any hammer settings and adjust the speed settings to maximum revolutions per minute. Do not force the bit against the pole wall. Let the drill and hole saw do the work and take caution not to push too hard, especially when the hole saw is breaking through the inside edge of the pole wall. This will result in a sharp, clean hole in the pole wall. Maneuvering the drill in a slow counterclockwise circular motion will assist in making the center plug smaller, which will significantly ease the removal of the plug from the hole saw once the hole is drilled. If the above steps have been followed, the hole plug will come out of the hole saw easily and may even fall out when drilling is complete. If the plug does not come out, fit a small flat screwdriver through the grooves in the sides of the hole saw to push the hole plug out, alternating the screwdriver from one side of the hole saw to the other to avoid any binding. 